Hey guys, I've got a plain white background because it was a plain bad day. <laughs> Something like that. It, it was, I was doing the, um, the bike squad today. Technically got deactivated, reactivated. They deemed me a new driver. So they're like, hey, do 10 deliveries. We'll give you $100 regardless if you make $100. So I was like, cool, I'll do it. Um, so I went down to Tallahassee today. I did 12 orders. Uh, but, you know, um, I got the 10 straight out of the way. I did them all back to back to back. Orders just come in back to back. They weren't good, but they came in. I was able to knock it out. Um, it took longer than I wanted to because of the mileage. But uh, here's what we got. First order was Bite Squad. It's kind of weird to say. It was $5.50. Um, 2.2 miles. Five minute wait at Canopy Cafe. You're going to get to hear some new names today. Uh, the next one was Bite Squad. Uh, I shouldn't have to say that. I'll, I'll change it when I get to one that's not Bite Squad. How about that? $5.50, 4.1 miles, and it was to the hospital. One of the hospitals. One minute wait at Cracker Barrel. Uh, next one was $5.50. I'm beginning to think that's their base. But anyway, uh, it was 6.1 miles to the hospital. Another hospital. It was a different one. Six minute wait at Lindy's Fried Chicken. They were not in a hurry. Uh, let's see, next one was $6.78, and I had to pay, it was to the hospital. This time, I had to pay uh, a dollar parking garage fee. I've never had to do that before. But anyway, no wait at Nukes Eatery. Uh, it was 5.1 miles, I don't know if I said that or not. The next one was $5.50. It was 2.9 miles. No wait at uh, Midtown Caboose. It's a very odd place. Nice people. It was, it was like a maybe like a train or something. It was weird. Um, next one was six dollars and forty eight cents. Two point eight miles. Two minute wait at Donut Kingdom. Everything looked good in there. So not good for a diabetic, but not a diabetic. But I do have sugar issues. I have to watch out. So um, next one was uh, five fifty, and it was four point nine miles. Estimated wait time was seventeen minutes, <laughs> and it took ten, and it was at Midtown Caboose. Uh, next one was Bite Squad again, $5.81, 4.4 miles, no wait, at uh, Lemongrass Vietnamese Thai uh, Sushi. It's a mouthful. Anyway, uh, next one was $5.50, it was 8 miles, it was a 2 minute wait at Val's Foods, um, another Bite Squad, $5.50 at 4.1 miles, no wait at Chicken Salad Chick. Now that ended my 10 orders. And my 10 orders totaled to be $50, $57.57. So how this works, I can't, I can't add the $100 into my total today. So today sucked, uh, dollar-wise. But um, basically they're going to put 40, what is that, $42 and 40, what is that, 43 cents? Um, you can cash out daily, but with a, with a promotion like this, you have to wait till their pay period which I've called and found out it was July 9th. So I won't get that till July 9th. So we'll be adding that to my totals that day. So since we can't add it to today, because uh, I mean, I, I'm not going to add money I don't have. I, I, I haven't seen it yet. It's not mine yet. So we're not adding it to today. Um, the next order was Bite Squad, $8.41. Uh, it was 1.4 miles. See, this, see when, I, when I wasn't just taking everything to get the 10 out of the way, I can kind of go back to what I was normally doing. Um, the guy gave me a $4 cash tip, although he tipped on the app. So it ended up being $12.41. And it was a five minute wait at Sugar Rush, um, the Sugar Rush Bar. I'm having trouble with these names because I've never heard of them, some of them. The next one was DoorDash. It was $7, turned into eight, 1.8 miles. Five minute wait at Chipotle. Never been there before. Uh, for, for, for an order. I've been there before, but not for an order. Um, uh, I, I messaged the lady. She lived in an apartment complex that had a code, and I've never had to deal with this either. Um, so I'm dealing with some of the issues that you guys talk about. Uh, yeah, in this case, apartments suck. I don't mind apartments in, in Dothan. But um, I did notice that we were talking on the message, and um, when, I got, when I got finished, I was going to, I don't know why, but I wanted to go back and look at the message. 
and it was not there. So I don't know if DoorDash is integrating the message system into the app now, and then when the order's over with, it's gone. Uh, so it might be something you might want to look at, uh, especially if you're wanting to document something. Uh, you might want to take screenshots before you move on. Again, I don't know if that's what they're doing now, but it was my message is not there. It was gone. It was in the app, and I know I talked to the girl. But anyway, um, the next one was Uber Eats. It was a double order. They got me, but it actually turned out to be all right. But they did get me. I didn't realize it was a double order. I picked up the first one and was like, where are we going? And I'm like, oh, we're going to another restaurant. Um, I don't have the total on the two divided, but it was $11.50, and it turned into be twelve forty-seven. So apparently they tipped 93 cents extra. GIQ, Gig IQ, I think. I think you got something going there with the uh, hiding tips. Uh, it was 1.2 miles um, to the first one. It was a six minute wait at Val's Food. And it was 1.2 miles to the next one. It was a no wait at Relish, which is a hamburger place. And the last one I took was Bite Squad, $12.62, 9.4 miles. And it was from uh, Satura Sushi, no wait. Um, what I do have to say about this, it, this is my synopsis on uh, Bite Squad. I don't suggest you downloading Bite Squad unless you just want the $100. Um, it took too much time. Um, my day was 12 Bite Squads for $78.60, one DoorDash for $8, and two Uber Eats for $12.62, totaling 15 deliveries for $99.22. Now, you guys know that I usually do about 16 deliveries, and it's a whole lot more than that maybe 170 or something like that normally um i don't suggest bike squad at all um the 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 app is it's very weird looking it's just it's not a lot put into it put it that way um they don't they, they show you where you're gonna go the restaurant they don't tell you how far it is um and they don't tell you where the customer lives until you've picked up the order so that's why you saw the last one was 1262. I jumped on it because I thought it would carry me over 200. I mean, uh, over 100, but I just missed 100. Um, but then when I put that I picked up the items, it was 9.4 miles, and I was like, oh. but it was headed back home, so I just I just called it a day. It was already six. I, I mean, I'm telling you the the 10 with the miles. I mean, I did what was it? It was 57.57 for the 10 orders, and it was 55.6 miles. How do you how do you top dashers take three dollar orders? I mean, I mean this is the base pay 550 here. I mean, well, there's some a dollar incentive, so their their normal is 450. But how do you guys take three dollars all day long, man? How, you're not making anything, and and then the miles, dude. This is ridiculous. This is a little over a dollar a mile, but you know. Just, I'm just getting the hundred dollar incentive, the, the hundred dollar guarantee, and uh, yeah, I mean, if you add the forty something dollars in, I'm, I'm at like one forty, uh, but I won't get that until July 9th, so I'm not I'm not gonna add that. We're just gonna go with our horrible day of ninety nine dollars and twenty two cents, and then we'll get back to Dothan tomorrow. Um, it's no different than last week. I did Tuesday. I did forty bucks because I got frustrated when I come home, um, but we're not doing that anymore. <laughs> But yeah, I don't suggest Bite Squad. Sorry about that. I don't suggest Bite Squad uh, mainly because there there's nothing on the screen. Uh, you get the dollar amount of the order. You get the name of the restaurant, the name of the customer. That's it. You don't get any mileage to the restaurant. You don't get any mileage to the uh, customer until you've picked up. So why use that app? And, and look at those orders. 550. Clear across the board. After I got done with it, I refused so many 550s. Um, that's that's no tip. Or they tipped and they didn't have... They had a promotion, uh, like like a promotion to it if the person didn't tip. But with the person tipped, they didn't add any promotion. So I don't like that either. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna add a promotion, add a promotion. You know, I, you are making up for the customer not tipping. I do get that, and I wish DoorDash would do that, but you know, when the customer tips, why not add the promotion too? Especially if it's going nine miles, you know. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, that's pretty much my day. Uh, I am quickly going to talk about the elephant in the room that's been in the room for like the past week. 
uh, real quick. I am not going to be mean or or or, or evil spirited uh, towards this person, um, but I just want to comment. He he commented today, and he was pretty tame uh, for Bentley Coop. We're going to talk about that real quick. Uh, appreciate you staying with me. I, I, I don't really want to talk about him, and this will be the last time I talk about him because um, I, I, I just don't want to talk about him anymore. I'm over it. But I am going to get this off my chest real quick. Um, you guys you guys saw it, and I saw it, and a lot. nobody's talked about it, but the man had uh, a response set up. Then he postponed it till Monday. It was about responding to comments and, and vlogs. And this man got roasted by Nugs. I mean, he talked about, Bentley talked about being humble, and then Nugs played the his, his short videos that, that put down DoorDash Dad, that put down other people, Pedro. He, he, I mean, and then he would play the humble thing again, and then he played more of it putting down other other vloggers um and and nugs video hands down handed bentley his his butt in my opinion and if you didn't notice bentley's template changed the title changed and i know for a fact i don't even have to see him do it but i know for a fact the video changed because he had a video set up to respond to comments so this new video and new title where he's, he says I'm not the bad guy, um, he, he was more tame, like the old Bentley, but he's never going to be able to get that. He's not humble, dude. He's never going to be able to get the arrogance out of him. He was still arrogant in that video, right down to his Who's Your Daddy t-shirt. We know who that's directed at. And that, that right there made the whole video... Uh, total garbage to me. You had that shirt on, and you you don't care. You don't you don't care. You can say you care all you want to, and you say that we can't bash DoorDash. We need to all work together and come up with a plan. No, the plan is is that we'll take we'll take the deliveries. All DoorDash has to do is raise the base pay, or make up the difference for people not tipping. That that's what it comes down to. There's no ifs, ands, and buts about it. Uh, we're still going to cherry pick. I'm not taking... You saw what I did today. I have no clue how somebody does $3 orders all day. That that was torturous. And it, it hurt taking every one of those orders just about. Because, I, I mean, I, I knew I was not making anything. But I knew I was at least getting $100 regardless. But if, if so, there's people out there that take every single order because they want to be top dasher so they... So they can dash anywhere, I guess, or dash anytime and not be responsible for having a schedule. Um, that's, that's my thing. I think you want to be a top dasher because you don't want any responsibilities. I'm responsible enough that at 3 o'clock uh, Central Time every day, I set a schedule. I got an alarm set. I, I never forget it because I'm responsible. And I, I care about my business. And I'm going to say that again. I care about my business. And... DoorDash does care about their drivers. I, I will agree with him on that, but to an extent, if you totally cared about your drivers, you'd pay them. This $3 base pay, let me give you an example. If, if somebody orders a crap ton of food the, the, and doesn't tip and it's 12 miles, DoorDash is still going to pay you three dollars, maybe three fifty. Woo! Um, this whole we're going to pay you more for longer distances. No, man, no, it's not happening. I've delivered a ten mile order that was fifteen bucks in my pocket before on DoorDash, and the base pay was still three dollars. And you know why? Because the person tipped. If the person tips, they're not going to raise anything at all. You're not going to get anything extra. Um, but it's just. It's just dirty business is what it is. And I'm not buying any damn stock. Uh, I don't care what you what you ask or beg of everybody. Um, no, I, I can't see it. Um, anyway, that's just my two cents, and I'm done. 
Um, I don't want to really hear about Bentley anymore. I don't want to talk about him anymore. Um, the dude is not humble. And he is awful on his shorts. If you go to his page and click on his picture, that's, that's what I'm talking about, the video shorts. He, he is just brutal to certain people on that. And anyway, thank you for listening. If you made it this far, <laughs> uh, again, like I say, let's move on. Uh, like like uh, DoorDash Dad said, let's move on. Let's let's uh, look. Don't look back on this. Um, it's nothing but drama, and we're better than that. And uh, from this point on, let's just talk about our days. Try to help each other. This community is great. Uh, I love each and every one of you. I can honestly say that anybody I've interacted with, you guys have been great. Um, congratulations, Pedro, on, on y'all's um, baby. I'm so proud of y'all. Uh, that, that, that was great news the other night. Um, and, uh, and I really hope that everybody can just get together someday, someday and, and just hang out. Uh, I think uh, Pedro was trying to get that started too. Um, I will be there. I'll definitely be there, no doubt. I want to meet each and every one of you. I want to give y'all hugs, talk about life, talk about y'all's family, get to know y'all better. But um, that's one thing I do love is I love this community. So I appreciate each and every one of you. Hit the like button, subscribe, notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Tell people about it. Comment below. You know, I know I talked about somebody, but if you didn't like it, hit the hit the you know thumbs down if you need to. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you just do like me and let's just move on um but anyway you guys have a great day and i'll be back in dothan tomorrow and try to make some real money see ya